Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Thursday, June 30th, the last trading day of the quarter. Well, yesterday, boy, we just ended up with an awful lot of chop. We found out that we were in recession. Um, as I wrote in the blog the day, the hits just keep on coming as we keep getting these bad economic numbers. Numbers. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at what these charts can tell us about today. And unfortunately, we've got kind of an ugly start to the morning. First off, um, uh, we'll notice that yesterday was just largely a chop day. We we um, stuck in a range. If I jump to a 15 minute chart, you can see yesterday's price action was just bound in a range here of about 180, 190 points as we just chopped around, didn't really do anything. And volumes remained very low on the day as that uncertainty just continues to creep up. Well, this morning we've got an ugly downside move. We're gapping lower here in the morning, but that could change with the economic data coming our way. Technically, however, we've got a pretty ugly situation here in the chart. Um, as you can see, we're breaking down through that little bit of support area there, that little gap but we're a long ways from setting new lows in the market. So we've got some work here to do if we're gonna get those bulls inspired. And certainly those bears have pushed hard enough that we're kind of back down there in the bullish reversal um, area, kind of an oversold condition in the short term. This is going to kind of um, make for a painful morning, I think, if that continues into the open. Obviously, we remain in our downtrend. We have to continue to respect overhead resistance levels, and our technicals of the charts remain very bearish. Looking at the SPY, I wish I could say it gets better, but it really doesn't. As you can see, gapping lower, we're breaking down in through that area right there. Um, we've broken that little upside trend. We continue to run in the downtrend. Resistance continues to do its job in the charts so um, you know there's just not a lot of good news um, in that um, at the moment and our technicals aren't helping that situation as well as we continue to see that deterioration of our technical averages here if we take a look at our QQQ well doggone it QQQ um, struggled yesterday um, like the other indexes we continue to move in the downtrends we continue to suffer um, as we approach resistance levels we've broken back down through a little bit of support we've broken that little upside trend or relief rally that we had going there and this morning's gap down is just kind of adding some insult to injury on uh, that market and of course our technicals here continue to be extremely bearish and last but not least our russell iwm it tried to hold up um the last couple of days um tried to tried to hang in there a little bit better than the other indexes it gave up a little bit yesterday following on down you can see we're breaking that little support area there we continue to move in the downtrend resistance continues to be a problem for us in the chart and unfortunately we gave up that little upside relief rally trend um, and the gap down this morning again just kind of hammering that point home that we are still in a bear market if we take a look um, at our technicals here obviously pretty bearish overall and um, not showing any improvement just yet. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now, our VIX yesterday was just kind of ho hum. We we went up a little bit. We we ended the day a little higher on the VIX, but we pulled back by the end of the day. It's like. Uh, maybe we're just getting tired of being fearful i don't know but didn't really pick up all that much on the day um, however we have officially held this trend we did get a follow through to that bullish engulfing candle and as you can see um, we're holding on to these support levels the concern area that we're going to have to worry about is whether or not 
we break through here, and that's where we can really get some capitulation selling in the market. But it is entirely possible that we could drift out here toward this trend a little bit more before we move on up. Or with this big gap down this morning, if that maintains, we could shoot up here pretty quickly. So boy, keep a close eye and be prepared for about anything. If we take a look at our T2122, this gives us our best hope that we're reaching a point of bullish reversal. Um, as you can see, we're pressing back down here into these lows. The gap down this morning will take us down. Well, my guess is we're, we're going to be very, very close to zero um, this morning on T2122, which does suggest that were oversold in the short term and could expect a relief rally to occur at any time. Unfortunately, we have some data points here this morning that may not be all that favorable for the market. We'll want to watch those closely, but um, we also want to remember that we have that um, potential in a very um, ugly sentiment, you know, um, Consumer confidence is, a, is, is at a terrible level. Consumer sentiment is not good. Um, con, uh, the consumers themselves are suffering um, under the recession and high prices. And as you can see here, um, it is possible we can linger down here for a little while as well. So keep that in mind. But if those bulls can find some reason to, um, to um, respond or hold lows, um, then we do have, we have opened up a huge opportunity for an upside move. And um, looking at the index charts, that could constitute a higher low, which could be a little bit of bullishness, a little bit of hope maybe coming in if they do defend. If they don't, well, we still have that possibility that we could, we've made a lower high in the indexes and that possibility that lower lows could be on the way. So uh, just be really, really careful. Our T2107 does give us a little bit of hope because um, even though we are bearish in the market and pushing lower, our T2107 hasn't made new lows yet. As a matter of fact, it just was kind of a light pullback on T2107 over the last couple of days. But it's pretty difficult with only 18% of the stocks holding above the 200 day to really see this as very bullish. The same thing would be true on T2108, where we pulled back here and um, we haven't made new lows in the market. We're, we're holding up a little bit better, holding on to some areas of price support. So you gotta give that up to the bulls. They're trying hard to do something here, but unfortunately 23% uh, of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average is not exactly bullish. And then our T2101 is really not giving us a whole lot of help here um, on our momentum. And I think one of the reasons is, is there's quite a little bit of uh, the uncertainty is keeping people probably more on the sideline with a lot of uh, chop in the market, as you can see here with our volumes remaining very low. Um, I, I think we're not getting the best of um, that T2101 indicator for uh, momentum. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and the numbers that I was talking about here this morning um, there is some serious concern and I have been mentioning this the last few weeks the possibility that we could start to see jobless claims creep up and you've probably seen those reports coming out um, companies um, halting hiring um, actually uh, pulling back on hiring I think we could start seeing those come up here and honestly, that needs to occur. If we're going to slow the economy, we're likely going to see jobs um, decline. So keep a close eye on that um, this morning. If that comes in bigger than expected, um, market's not going to like that um, in all likelihood. And if we um, get past that one, we still have this personal incomes and outlays. This is an important one for the FOMC. And if it comes out as consensus suggests, it just continues to support the uh, the sentiment of the FOMC remaining aggressively hawkish. Um, so we can expect that 50 to 75 basis point increase in interest rates coming next month if that comes in as they expect in consensus. After that, we've got the Chicago PMI. We've got natural gas report. 
and then um, some bond auctions that we'll want to pay attention to the the short-term bond auctions fed balance sheet after that but i'm not sure anybody um, really has been paying much attention to that remember as you plan forward we're going to get a pmi and an ism um, ism is definitely a potential market mover and then of course construction spending that we would probably expect would start pulling back a little bit so watch those closely let's take a look at our earnings calendar today now our earnings calendar we have our busiest day of this week which hasn't really said all that much but we do have some notables here this morning i want to cover first um after the bell today we're going to hear from micron micron will be be reporting today probably well you know it's just one of the techs out there that can uh, be uh, create quite a little bit of emotion in the market right now um, obviously we're in a pretty bearish situation and you can see it's moving lower here this morning with the rest of the market so this could be an important report will it hold these lows and bounce off with a good report or will we make new lows in micron might be worth keeping an eye on this afternoon uh, wba will um, we're getting results from wba today um, looking kind of bearish this morning again i don't know if this is because of the report that we're pushing down here or just because of the bearishness of the pre-market but certainly moving in a downtrend channel not looking all that great here at the moment but worth paying attention to how about ayi ayi reporting today looks like it tried to get moving to the upside putting in a big shooting star pre-market pattern here pressing up toward its um, downtrend resistance um, keep an eye on it could be interesting um, stz stz constellation brands We've seen here recently um, defensive sector stocks, food related stocks uh, do pretty well here recently, but we're got, we've got a um, STZ looking a little bit lower here this morning and that could just be a function of the bearish market. If you wanna catch the full list of those notables, guys, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That will um, take you to the morning blog where you can get that full list. How about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. Before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please continue to click those thumbs up buttons and leave those brief comments. You know, yesterday I didn't get a chance to answer. I did read all of the comments, but because I kind of ran long yesterday in the Right Way Options trading room, um, I didn't get a chance to um, um, answer those comments. I should be back on that case this morning. But thank you so much for everyone who does do that. You guys are awesome. And thank you for the uh, you folks that are going through and clicking the thumbs up buttons on other comments. That does help a lot. Um, as far as the engagement in the video. You guys are truly awesome. I also want to say thank you to everyone who continues to support the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee link just below the title of the video. I do truly appreciate that. And one of the things I need to get to is I need to do another live event on YouTube. Um, so um, keep watching for that and I'll see if I can get one of those put together. We can um, talk about some... Um, uh, strategies that can maybe help you in this bear market so let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you're going to have to do your own due diligence making sure that you understand the risk of these trades you should never ever just follow someone else's trade idea unless you understand the why of the trade and understand the risk if you take a look um, at ups ups had a pretty good day yesterday Day, um, trying to move on up here and I've been watching some of these shippers notice that we have UPS crept above that 50-day moving average trying to hang in there this is what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern and we've got that price trying to hang in there and we're seeing those um, short-term moving averages trying to cross up and provide us that uh, that moving average support in here I'd watch that closely and see if we can get something going here and start perking that up in that chart and moving up toward that 200 day moving average I think it's worth putting on a list now the bearishness of today could change that 
but watch that closely. And you guys know that I've mentioned FTX earlier this week, and we've got FedEx that moved up sharply here. Now we're pulling back, and what I like about that is if we pull back and we can find trend and find some price support in this chart maybe we can hold in here and then start turning back higher so keep an eye on fedex we're going to need those shippers for sure um, in the days and months and weeks ahead um, because we're buying pretty much everything online anymore let's take a look at a few others in here as you guys know i've been mentioning uh, merck I've been mentioning uh, BMY, and BMY is holding up pretty nicely here and pulling back. Um, long consolidation breakout here in the chart, and we're getting a gap down this morning that may be problematic here where we may be breaking that support again. But if that can pop right back up in here and hold, it may have to consolidate a while, um, but then look for possibly that upside move. Um, on that chart. I've been talking about J&J &J as well as a possibility, but boy, um, took some hard hits this week. And once again, you know, we had broke through resistance, but now we're, we're potentially losing um, that support area in the chart. Still has that potential that it could come out of this if we could get some bullishness coming in the market. Um, you could see that potential of a inverted head and shoulders trying to form in here, but it may have some more work to do. You might want to take a look at some of these really beaten down um, stocks like Chewy. Chewy is holding in here, trying to be um, a bullish chart, as you can see, rallying up in that in that move we're resting and pulling back to that trend watch carefully in here if we can hold this support and find those buyers there may be that opportunity to move up here and um, as you know i've mentioned snow as another one of those where we're breaking that downtrend broke through some resistance now we're trying to rest consolidate maybe pull back and find that trend location for that upside move now on the short side of things as you guys remember i had talked about apple uh, being a potential short um, earlier this week um, that is kind of playing out here at the moment um, as we're continuing to see tech run into some tough tough times running into price resistance running into um, downtrend resistance and then rolling back over be careful with some of these techs and they really could set up for some additional shorting and I think another place that you might want to look uh, for those potential short uh, trades would be in the financial sector financials are really struggling here and um, probably not a big surprise considering the overall condition of the market so there are some short trades out there i would caution you on chasing them today particularly um, since we're kind of reaching that short-term oversold condition but doggone it as the hits just keep on coming here in the market we could continue to see these indexes drive lower remember um, lower highs often produce lower lows so lower high and lower low lower high are we gonna make a lower low we'll see um, um, the good news is is we still have a chance there's still a chance um, as they said in the movie dumb and dumber um, so you're saying I still have a chance and as you can see right here if we could hold that higher low then there may be that opportunity to get a little bit of bullishness coming in here. We'll have to wait and see. Pretty ugly days, and I suspect the days ahead with all the geopolitical concerns and economic concerns that we continue to have. And remember, we um, are sliding out of second quarter, and in about two and a half weeks, we're gonna start getting earnings reports for the third quarter and i just can't imagine those are going to be strong so be careful we may not be finished up with this bear market so with that guys hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great results in your trading thank you so much for being here take care be safe and i'll see you right back here bright and early friday morning I wish you all the best